captain's choice to complete the line. Race for the gardens. We're running for Tony Gray fencing. This is a fifth grade event. There's the light. Here's the lure. Set to jump. Ready. And racing, it was a pretty level dispatch and winning the start down along the inside was Rebel Force. Started two lengths in front of Carpenter's Arms, nice and handy. Speedy Pebbles Gate said no, just in behind the speed. Second last is Mustard's Choice and last is Goddess of War. Down the back and Rebel Force is two out in front of Gate said no. Another two to Carpenter's Arms. Mustard's Choice on the inside of Speedy Pebbles and Goddess of War can see them all. Off the back, a real charge for the lead. Gate said no, come out of the pack. Challenging is Carpenter's Arms down the outside. Gate said no, Carpenter's Arms, Carpenter's Arms, Carpenter's Arms. Carpenter's Arms beats home gate said no. Speedy Pebbles, Goddess of War, Mustard Choice and Rebel Force. The time, 30 seconds dead. Number seven, Carpenter's Arms wins. Beats home one, gate said no. Third to five, Speedy Pebbles. And we stand by for fourth. Should be four, Goddess of War. 30 and 05, the official time. After splits of 494 and 1753. A run home of 12 and 52. Margin, one and a quarter by two and three quarters. Interim results, seven, one, five and four. Seven, one, five, four. Seven, the black, the winner. Carpenter's Arms is owned by Wayne Chandler and prepared by Neville uh, Board Bent. And that's start number th uh, four today from win number 11 for this black bitch by Zinzan Brook out of Asteroid Miss. Second to one, Gates said no for Brendan Allen. Third to number five, Speedy Pebbles for Jared Dodd. And fourth to four, Goddess of War for Gary Streetfield. So the results are seven, one, five and four. 30 and 05 the time after race number four.